Defense Minister Boris Pistorius said on May 10 that the German government had approved the procurement of 50 Puma infantry vehicles from the German defense group Reimeter and Crossmark Wegmann. The deal is worth about 1.5 billion euros, equivalent to 1.7 billion dollars, about 32 million dollars each, including spare parts. Each Puma armor vehicle, in fact, costs from 10 to 40 million dollars each, depending on the quantity ordered. Its price increased significantly due to the expensive cost of spare parts throughout the service life due to the state of the art of this weapon. The first batch of Puma, manufactured jointly by Reimeter and Crossmark Wegman, is expected to receive as early as 2024. The Puma IFV is already in service with the German army. About 350 vehicles are currently in operation. Due to the new purchase, the total number of Pumas in service will reach approximately 400 units. The order for Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicles is part of Germany's new military modernization policy that was triggered by Russian-Ukrainian war. The Puma is the latest generation of German Infantry Fighting Vehicles, which has been in service with the German Army since 2015. Strong weapon system extremely good self-defense ability and advanced electronic system are the outstanding advantages of this combat vehicle. And it is also among the most expensive armor vehicles in the world. A 31.5 tons is a bit heavier than its predecessor, the mother, but the modular AMAP composite armor seems to withstand significantly more threats. The cabin is air-conditioned, NBC-proof with internal nuclear and chemical sensors, and has a fire suppression system using non-toxic agents. The engine compartment had its own fire extinguishing system. The outer hull is very smooth and low, to minimize short traps and the general visual signature. The whole combat ready vehicle in its base configuration will be air transportable in the Airbus A400M tanker airlifter. The Puma Infantry Fighting Vehicle has a crew of three, where it can accommodate up to eight infantrymen in the rear compartment. Passengers enter and leave the vehicle via a rear power operated ramp. The base model has a front and flying protection against 30mm rounds, while the vehicle has an own rail protection against 14.5mm machine gun fire. The most protection variant can be considered as a heavy IFV. Additional ammo modules can be fitted, increasing Puma's weight to 43 tons. Furthermore, in this configuration, it is even heavier than the T-72 main battle tank. It seems that most protection variant of the Puma withstands 120 and 125mm projectiles over the frontal arc. Vigor withstands my blasts equivalent to 10 kilograms of TNT. Vigor is armed with a remotely operated weapon station. It includes a Mauser 30 mm dual fed cannon. This cannon is used on Austrian Ulan and Spanish Pizarro IFVs, which has an effective range of 3 kilometers. The Puma will be armed with an anti-tank guided weapon launcher. However, its type is still unknown. Possibly, it will be Spike, 
or one of its variants. Secondary armament consists of 5.56mm machine gun and a 76mm rally launcher for a close range defense. The Vicar is fitted with an MTU V10 diesel engine with 1073 horsepower for a maximum speed of up to 70 km per hour and a range of 600 km. Puma's engine is even more powerful than some main battle tanks. For example, the original T-72 tank had a 720 horsepower engine, while a current Russian T-90A main battle tank is powered by a 1000 horsepower engine. This German IFV is not amphibious due to its weight. The Puma offers improvements in situational awareness. The fully stabilized 360 periscope with six different zoom stages offers a direct glass optic link to either the commander or the gunner. The periscope offers an optronic thermal vision mode and a wide angle camera with three zoom stages to assist the driver as well as a laser range fighter. The whole array is 100 killer capable. The Commodore also has 5 vision blocks. Apart from the glass optic periscope view accessible directly by the Commander and Gunner and indirectly via the CCD camera, the whole crew has access to the onboard intercom. Puma has been in service with the German army since April 2015. Potential and future operators are Chile and Croatia. NATO members are also very interested in these German infantry fighting vehicles. <laughs>